Hey everyone, I'm Matt Galinsky. Welcome to the APA Get Set Go Bake Challenge. This week I'm gonna be making snapper, fennel and potato pie. A little bit of a, I guess a twist on a classic. The fennel bulb is, just gives it that beautiful flavor and a lovely, lovely texture. And I'm gonna do the top, instead of making a pastry top, it's gonna to be a beautiful, smooth, silky mashed potato top. So it's gonna throw it in the oven and it's gonna come up all nice and golden and crispy on top. So let's get cracking, shall we? The, the idea of this is we're gonna make a, the fish base with all these different things, onions, garlic, celery, leek and fennel, all those beautiful things that go well with fish. I've got some beautiful fresh diced snapper here. It's gonna go in there as well. I'm gonna take some butter and melt that first. And then I'm gonna kind of saute all that, all these vegetables and, and things in there, add some flour and then hot stock. So it's gonna kind of become the sauce that it's gonna thicken it with the butter and flour. So I've got butter in there, I've got some fennel seeds and that's gonna go really nicely with the fennel part. So it's kind of the two flavors of the fennel there. And start with those and that'll really bring out the flavor of the fennel seeds by sauteing them just slowly in, in the butter. And all of this stuff, we really don't want it to color up too much at all. Just lightly, just softening it and getting it nice and, you know, a little tiny bit of golden color in it. So in there, I've got some onions, diced onions and sliced garlic and some diced celery. So we'll start off with all those three things. Just let them cook away in the butter over there, that's fine. And then I've got some leek here. Now split it right down the center and then in half again, and then dice that up as well. So everything's just gonna be chunky, the same, almost the same size as the diced snapper. And now for the fennel bulb. Take off those bits there. These top stems are quite, um, quite fibrous, so they, you kinda need to get rid of them. So you bring it down to about that, in half down the middle, and you'll see now that the fennel bulb's got a core in it like that. So what I generally do is, like an onion, just take the core out, and that's gonna mean when I dice it up, all those bits are just gonna fall apart, which is what we want. And then same thing, same, same size dice as the other bits and pieces. Now, while this is all going on, all cooking away, I'm going to make the potato topping at the same time. So it all comes together at the same time. I've got some potatoes here that have been peeled and diced, and I always, always, for any, if you want good mash, use a good Sebago potato, just your, your potatoes that you see at the supermarket, but the ones that have got the soil on the outside. So buy the dirty ones, take them home, give them a wash, peel them, use those ones. That's how you're gonna always get the best possible mash. So I'm just gonna let that just tick away now on a low heat, so we don't want too much color in there. Just wanna soften all those things down. And then I'm gonna add some flour and some stock to make a sauce, and then just fold that fish through. That's gonna go into the dish and then the mashed potato is gonna go on top. So I'll get the potato on now. So now all those vegetables, the onions, garlic, celery, leek, fennel, they've all softened really nicely. A little tiny bit of color in them just to caramelize a little bit. I'm gonna add some flour. And just stir it through and get it really, it's kind of like you're making a roux, like you're making a white sauce. And then I've just got some hot stock here. So hot vegetable stock or chicken stock, anything like that. Heat that up and then a little bit at a time, just add it in, stir it through, let it take. Bring that up to the boil, just let it simmer for a couple of minutes and then we're gonna add those snapper pieces to it. Right, now there's the vegetable base for the fish pie. I've just got, I'm just gonna add this, the fish into it raw, just like that, just throw it in stir it through and then I've got some um, flat parsley here as well and you can put whatever herbs you like into it. Things like tarragon and chervil and chives and parsley, those are going to go really really nicely with a fish pie. Just mix that all through really well. I've got a, a baking tray here, a nice deep sided baking tray and by the time this goes, this is, the fish isn't cooked, but by the time this goes in the oven, put the potato on, potato on top and then bake it, the fish is just gonna be just cooked so that it's not, it's, we're kind of controlling, it's, we don't want it to be really overcooked. Pack it in there and press it down so it's nice and flat. So when we pipe the potato on top. Okay, so once the potatoes 
are really nice and soft. They should be really kind of falling to bits there. Drain them really well. In this case, I'm gonna get a little bit fancier with it and I'm going to really make a, a lovely fine silky mash. So I'm gonna pass it through a fine sieve with the back of a spoon. It's not terribly a hard job. It doesn't take a long time for the amount that we're using, but it is worth it. You do get a really good result, but you do need to do it while it's nice and hot. Don't overload the sieve. Only put in a little bit like that at a time. Cream and butter ready to go there as well. It's always good when you're making mash as well to add those two things to the potatoes while, while they're hot. Add the melted butter and cream, and you can use milk or whatever. You wanna make it a little bit more healthy for yourself. Salt, pepper. You can see how silky that is. It's a beautiful mash, look at that, yum. Now, I've got a piping bag here with a little star nozzle in it. It also, by having that kind of star shape, we're getting a lot of surface area. So a lot of area to get nice and crispy on top. I'm gonna do kind of a little pattern like that. Little waves. Right, and once that's all done and ready to go, then I've just got some melted butter. I'm just gonna very gently, without wrecking that lovely pattern I've made, just brush that on top and that's gonna help the potato crisp up. So this just goes straight in the oven, half an hour, 180 degrees. All you're really doing is just heating the fish underneath just enough to cook it and crisp up the top. So there's not much actually that needs to be cooked in there. Um, it's really just a kind of finishing off almost now. So we'll whack that in the oven. So there we have it, one snapper, a fennel and potato pie. Absolutely beautiful dinner for eight people really, or four dinners for two. I'm just gonna serve some of this up. It's a good idea to just let it sit for a little bit as well. It just sets that little bit more. It's easier to scoop a nice bit out. Yummo. Have fun and get set, go bake.